Welcome back to part 2 of the AR guitar build. In this video we'll be doing the machine work on the workpiece. This video has been speeded up to save some time. Here we're drilling the holes for the location of the pickups. The guitar is going to have one humbucker and two single coil. Here we're drilling the three holes for the volume and tone pots. And the four holes for the location of the bolt-on neck. Now we're going to route out pickups, there's for the humbucker, the route to the left of that is for the tremolo tailpiece. Here we're routing out for the two single coils. And we're going to route out for the neck location. And we're going to follow up with a finisher. That'll bring all our, all our dimensions to the correct tolerances that we're looking for. Here you can see the pocket for the neck. And you can see the two pockets for the single coil, pocket for the humbucker, pocket for the tremolo tailpiece, and a route out for the location of the output jack. Now we're going to contour out the outside shape of the guitar. If you watched the first video, the guitar body is made out of hard maple, uh, one and a half inches thick. I want to give a shout out to my friend Tommy Cassatz of Tommy Rex for the background music. So here we can see that the all the internal routing is complete and also the contour of the outside shape of the body is done. Our next step will be to turn the part over and do some machine work on the back side.
I need to pocket it out on the back side, gain access to the humbucker and the two single coils and do a route to the location of the output jack which I'll fill in later with a strip of wood machine out in this area for the volume and tone pots. I did have an issue here where the neck is going to bolt on the wood splintered so I went deeper than I originally planned. I'm going to make up that difference with an aluminum spacer so that the fretboard is maintained at the correct height for the bridge assembly. One small little hiccup along the way but we'll fix that so it'll be fine. Here we have the guitar clamped down, ready to do the work on the back side. It's been indicated in, and I have to make sure that I have the origin correct so that the geometry on the front side and the back side match up. So like I said earlier, we'll do a route back to here to get the wires in for the output jack out this area to get access to the volume and tone controls. And I am not using a pick guard, I'm relying on the guitar to support the pickups. So hence I'll be machining out the back side so they drop in from the back. So here we're removing material to have room for the spring assembly for the tremolo tailpiece. pocket out in the area where the volume and tone pots are going to be located. And I'm also going to do a shallow route so that the covers that go on the back side will be flush. use a smaller tool to do some detail work so that the humbucker will fit correctly. And do the route back to the output jack, which I will make a strip for and fill in later. So that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching and in part three we'll be doing some assembly work. And we'll catch you later.